speculating. At first, I want to know if you had fun and if this is what you imagined it being. Um, and then if you had any, I don't know, two or three moments from the last two hours that really you think will stick with you uh, years from now. It was beyond my wildest dreams, for sure. And <clears throat> I, yeah, I mean, <laughs> as a human being, to feel that kind of love and support is incredible. So I've, I've put a lot in to this game over many years, and tonight feels like it was all worth it. And so I'm um, very grateful. And the best for me was um, watching the video. and Afterward? I, yeah, and actually letting myself go a little bit because I've been so focused on all the other stuff that's going on. I've been sort of doing, 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 and not allowing myself to just be with it. And so that was nice. And then obviously having my family there was very special for me. Thank you. Well, I watched you when you were watching the video. At what point did sort of the tears start to Pretty on? soon. Um, it <laughs> It's, um, there's just a lot, you know, there's a lot of moments and memories and, you know, my life has been shaped through this sport and um, I'm so blessed because I've been able to grow and learn with all the experiences that this sport has given me. And that's pretty cool. You know, I watch some of the highlights and stuff and I think about where I was in my life off the field during those times and how the game has given me an outlet to express myself and learn and grow and it's pretty cool. I've been uh, very fortunate. Living with fans in that challenge. That's cool. A <laughs> uh, little out of character for me but sometimes you gotta let go and, and enjoy it and those people, you know, supporters clubs and American Outlaws um, they're, they're the blood of, of this team and the sport. And when I started, there probably would have been a few hundred people. And now there's thousands of people that probably made the trip from all over the country to come support us, support me. And it's pretty special. So that was a fun moment. I enjoyed it. Andrew, over to you, Matt. Uh, Landon, um, when you were subbed off, that was kind of a cool moment down the field. Um, can you just describe what that was like? And then uh, when you reached the sideline, you and you were going to have a little bit of interaction. Can you say what maybe he, he told you at that moment? Um, he told me he should have taken me to Brazil. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Do you need to keep going or are you guys going? <laughs> No, it was really, it was nice to, it's weird in an international game like this to sort of stop and, and spend a minute appreciating it, but it was nice to hear the applause, and um, uh, Jürgen and I spoke today, we had a good conversation, and um, we both agreed that we wanted tonight to be about tonight, and, and that's it, and so um, it was nice, and I'm appreciative of everything that everyone did to make tonight special. <coughs> okay. At, you saw the tears during the video, and again, you were hugging with your family members, with the two ladies and such, with your sister and mother there. And girlfriend. And girlfriend. And how many times did you come close to losing it tonight, then? Either did you win it during the game? Or just no, um, I have no problem showing emotion, as you guys know, and so... It, it just didn't come until that moment. I was, you know, I'm still playing a game. I'm still focused on trying to win and help the team and that stuff. But when it was done, I was sort of able to just relax and watch the, the video and, and appreciate it all. And I sort of saw it, um, it sort of felt like I was watching it almost from an outsider's view and watching my life on the screen and the way I've grown up through the screen. And so I think that's what got me. Landon, you, you talked about wanting to coach 16, 17-year-old kids. I, I couldn't help but notice that in light of the how many, how much expectations were put on you at that age. And I'm just wondering if you've given any thought to 
what it's like to be an American soccer player now at 16 and 17 as opposed to when you were that age and what role you played in changing that culture? I mean, it's night and day. I mean, the kids now, I've got a kid on the galaxy now, Bradford Jameson, who's 17. <clears throat> He's grown up watching us all play. He's idolized all of us. And I think about me growing up, I didn't have anyone to watch. There was no Major League Soccer. I didn't have anyone to idolize. I idolized people from other sports because, uh, you know, I watched Wayne Gretzky and Magic Johnson. I didn't have idols to look up to. So it's so different now, but that's a good thing. And that's what we've wanted, and that's what we're all here to do is to help this thing grow. It's, you guys are here to help this thing grow, and um, we should all be proud of it. Thank you. Thank you. Landon, to add to that question a little bit, you, you, I see a lot of uh, players right now that are uh, coming from the European side of things. As somebody whose career has spanned uh, the MLS and Europe, what, do you, what would you say are the advantages and disadvantages to, to playing in each league, and what kind of advice do you give to those guys? Uh, there are advantages both ways. My <clears throat> Every situation is different, so we can't make a blanket statement about where it's better to be. For everybody, it's different. I think the most important thing is that you're developing and that you're getting a chance to play. So there's a lot of situations where guys <clears throat> go somewhere and they don't play, and that doesn't help, not only from a soccer standpoint, but from a life standpoint. This is what we do, we've grown up playing soccer, so if you're not playing soccer, that's not good. Um, conversely, if you're in a great environment where you're playing a lot, that's ideal. And so, um, I think everyone, everyone can make their own choice. Adrian. A lot of great things tonight. The bright post didn't get the message. You see that shotgun, what are you thinking? Some of the, it hits I think the goal was off it. centered a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it would have been nice, I mean, but uh, that's okay. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> I was living, played in 150 plus caps, World Cups, MLS Cups, and everything. Was something different about being on field tonight? Did it feel different? And if so, what felt different about just being out there tonight? Just the energy felt different. It was, it, it's just strange. I mean, I haven't been in camp all week. I haven't trained with these guys all week. So it just, it's a surreal feeling. And I'm not, um, I'm not overly comfortable with. A, a, that kind of attention on me, and so it was a, a battle with myself to just try to enjoy it and allow it and appreciate it, um, while balancing still playing a game. I mean, this was a real game, and for a lot of guys, this is, for all the guys, it's a big opportunity, so I wanted to take that seriously, and I wanted to make sure I contributed, so all of that made it just a different, different thing for me, for sure. Kyle. Landon, what was going through your mind is the minutes kept ticking by, I mean, Thirty, and it just seemed like you kept going and going. And well, yeah. how do you kind of process that? Well, <laughs> I looked up after the game started, and there had been like a few plays. And I looked up at the clock, and I was thinking, "Please don't be that long yet." And it was two minutes in. And I was like, "Thank you." <laughs> um, and then it flew by fast. And when you're in that type of environment, that kind of game, I didn't want to come out, but. You know, there's realities, and, and I understood it, but I give Jurgen credit for letting me stay a few more minutes, and um, I think it was it was perfect the way it worked out. Frank. Hey, man, do, you, do you have a stock answer for when teams start asking you to come out of retirement? <laughs> for when teams do? That happens after the team. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think we've already dealt with some of that, believe it or not, and, um, you know, it's nice, nice to feel wanted, but uh, I think, I'm pretty sure this is it, so, um, uh, I'm going to enjoy myself and uh, enjoy the next chapter. Okay, thank you very much, Landon. Yep. Thank, 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 thank you, Thank you guys for everything, I appreciate it. Thank you. Michael, you're going to hold me. Next time we still open.